Seeker deer can be found in small scattered populations in England, Scotland and Ireland, favouring both coniferous and deciduous woodland, plus open heath. The seeker deer was introduced to Britain in 1860 from Japan. They were originally kept in deer parks from which many escaped and have now established themselves so well that in some places they're now considered a pest. The seeker deer is very sensitive to disturbance and as a result feeds mainly at night. During the summer the seeker deer look very similar to fallow deer having a reddish brown coat with white spots. They have a relatively long white tail and the rump is bordered by a black rim. There is a small dark line running down the tail. This line is much thicker on a fallow deer. In winter their coats turn a dark grey brown. Males start to grow large pointed antlers during the spring and summer, which differ from the palmate antlers of a fallow deer. Like many species of deer, the antlers are initially covered in a velvety skin, which is shed during the autumn, ready for the rut. During the rut, males make loud, eerie whistling calls and will strut about in an attempt to ward off any potential rivals. Male seeker deer will lock antlers and fight for the right to mate. Females give birth to a single fawn in late spring, which becomes independent after 10 months. They feed on grasses, sedges, heather, bark and fungi. Seeker deer are surprisingly good swimmers, and some have been seen swimming far out at sea. Seeker deer will give out a loud, sharp screech when alarmed. Droppings are left in piles, dark and pointed at one end and indented at the other. Footprints look very similar to fallow deer, 